Irrelevant. Huge majority don't care about Meghan and Harry's new Archeo brand, poll. Most respondents do not care about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new Archeo brand, according to an Express.co.uk poll. Express.co.uk asked readers if they care about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's new charitable organization. A huge 81% of respondents said no, while just 19% replied yes. Commenting on the poll, one reader wrote, This pair become increasingly irrelevant as each day passes. Another said, What a pity there's no option for don't give a flying. A third added, The result shows what we think of ex-royals. Another wrote, Don't care at all. Can we stop now? Can we forget about them and just ignore them? Please. A fifth said, I would be more interested in watching paint dry. It comes after it emerged earlier this week that Meghan and Harry, who quit royal duties and are starting a new life in Los Angeles with their son Archie, are launching ArchUL. The couple filed paperwork regarding their new foundation in the U.S. last month. They told the Daily Telegraph, like you, our focus is on supporting efforts to tackle the global COVID-19 pandemic but faced with this information coming to light, we felt compelled to share the story of how this came to be. Before Sussex Royal, came the idea of Arch, the Greek word meaning source of action. We connected to this concept for the charitable organization we hoped to build one day, and it became the inspiration for our son's name. To do something of meaning, to do something that matters. Arch Ewell is a name that combines an ancient word for strength and action, and another that evokes the deep resources we each must draw upon. We look forward to launching Arch Ewell when the time is right. Meghan and Harry were forced to drop their Sussex royal brand, which was used for their Instagram and website, when they left the monarchy. They bowed out of the royal family with a final post on Instagram last month. The Sussexes said, as we can all feel, the world at this moment seems extraordinarily fragile. Yet we are confident that every human being has the potential and opportunity to make a difference, as seen now across the globe, in our families, our communities and those on the front line, together we can lift each other up to realize the fullness of that promise. What's most important right now is the health and well-being of everyone across the globe and finding solutions for the many issues that have presented themselves as a result of this pandemic. As we all find the part we are to play in this global shift and changing of habits, we are focusing this new chapter to understand how we can best contribute. While you may not see us here, the work continues. Thank you to this community, for the support the inspiration and the shared commitment to the good in the world. We look forward to reconnecting with you soon. You've been great. Until then, please take good care of yourselves, and of one another. Royal Poll, do you care about Meghan and Harry's new Archeal venture? Vote. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have confirmed the name and focus of their new organization in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Are you interested in their new venture? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have confirmed to the press how their new platform will be called after they filed paperwork in the U.S. outlining a wide range of projects under the name Arch UL. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex plans, according to trademark details, could include the creation of a charity and a series of volunteering services, a lifestyle website and the distribution of education and training materials. Meghan and Harry explained they aren't planning to launch their non-profit organization just yet while the coronavirus pandemic is still gripping the world. However, they clarified the name and mission of Arch Ewell earlier this week, telling the Daily Telegraph, like you, our focus is on supporting efforts to tackle the global COVID-19 pandemic but faced with this information coming to light, we felt compelled to share the story of how this came to be. Before Sussex Royal came the idea of Arch, the Greek word meaning source of action. We connected to this concept for the charitable organization we hoped to build one day, and it became the inspiration for our son's name. To do something of meaning, to do something that matters. Arch Ewell is a name that combines an ancient word for strength and action, and another that evokes the deep resources we each must draw upon. We look forward to launching Arch Ewell when the time is right. Following this announcement, 
many social media users expressed a series of doubts. Some questioned the choice of the name, others the timing of Meghan and Harry's statement and a few even asked how Archul should be pronounced. Among those criticizing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to set the record straight during a pandemic there was ITV's Good Morning Britain presenter Piers Morgan. He wrote on Twitter, total number of FKS the British public give about these two announcing their plans from Hollywood right now, zero. Meghan and Harry's revelation came amid news Prime Minister Boris Johnson had been hospitalized 11 days after testing positive for coronavirus. One social media user said, there is a time and a place to make announcements and now really isn't the time, what would have been nice is a message of support to a country they say to love and best wishes to RPM. Another noted the Sussexes didn't publicly said anything about the point in speech delivered by the Queen on Sunday evening. They said, coming less than 48 hours after the Queen's speech and PM's admission to hospital shows lack of judgment and understanding of the nation's priorities. On March 30th, Meghan and Harry signed off their official Instagram account, Sussex Royal, announcing they would dedicate the next few weeks to take care of their family and work behind the scenes on their organization. Following this statement, many expected a lengthy period of silence from the Sussexes. Meghan and Harry said, What's most important right now is the health and well-being of everyone across the globe and finding solutions for the many issues that have presented themselves as a result of this pandemic. As we all find the part we are to play in this global shift and changing of habits, we are focusing this new chapter to understand how we can best contribute. While you may not see us here, the work continues.